One of the hottest spots to celebrate St. Patty's Day in Minnesota is in St. Paul. And the parade went off without a hitch today, despite the cold temperatures. Fox 9's Rob Olson was there for all of the fun. Rob, lots of people are out there today to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, quiet out here now because everybody's celebrating indoors. You know, uh, the coldest St. Patrick's Day parade here in 30 years. I look back the last several decades of high temperatures. Typically, it's in the 40s, even the 50s. 11 years ago, we had an 80, but today, parade time temperature was a grand 10. The date on the calendar. Are you cold? <laughs> I'm cold. Doesn't care one wee bit about the number on the thermometer. Yeah! And if you were Irish, that first number will always outweigh the second. So did you ever even think for a second about missing this because of the weather? No, no we're Kerrigan. And so it went that this St. Paul, St. Patrick's Day Parade, a tradition that began in 1967. Well, I have green underneath, but then we did the, we, the headband and the glasses just to make sure that we were prepared. Marched again through downtown in the lowest temperatures since 1993. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Coldest St. Patrick's Day in 30 years. Does it bother you? Not even one bit. If you're two Minnesota, <laughs> you're used to it. It is hard not to get caught up in all the fun. Up she goes! And the enthusiasm <laughs> of St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, we brought a little portable heater. The only thing you need is to warm your hands up every once in a while, and uh, it makes friends a lot easier. Hard not to be impressed with the dedication of a tire that begs for frostbite. Appropriate perhaps for the heritage, but not at all for the windshield. Well, we gotta take the bad years with the good. It's not bad. You can't enjoy 60 degrees unless you're out here in 10. <laughs> and you gotta do it in a kilt. That's the only true way. Now that being said and shown, there were far more parkas to be seen than kilts. Got some layers on and a uh, little pregame activity and all good. And certainly a lot of built-in traditions <laughs> that help you get through. We're Irish. Why wouldn't we? How we came, we you... saw, we conquered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. Usually St. Patrick's Day with all the green is kind of a promise that we'll be seeing a lot more green in the near future. This year, I think we're going to have to wait a while. Live in St. Paul, Rob Wilson, Fox 9. <laughs> no, hopefully it's not too far away, Rob.